going to begin with the Jane Airedale Smooth Affair Brightening Primer all over my face. And I like applying this with my fingers because I like to feel where I'm applying it. And I'm going to use my NC45 Studio Fix Powder. I really like this for the summer. I'm using it with my e.l.f. powder blush. And I'm going to take this foundation and I'm only going to apply it on my cheeks, on my chin, my upper lip, and my forehead. And I'm going to stay clear away from my eyes because I really don't want to put the foundation under there. I want my, my face to be glowing. So... I'm going to just put this coverage where I need it the most. Now in this area here, I'm going to apply the Maybelline Instant Rewind Eraser. This is number 50, the neutralizer. And I'm going to apply it in a V-like shape underneath my eye, on my eyebrow bone, the center of my forehead, above my lip, my chin, over my nose. And I'm going to take a dampened beauty blender sponge and I'm going to blend all of this out. And this is going to give me a beautiful natural glow right in the center of my face and anywhere that I applied the concealer which is what I'm looking for anyway. Now, I'm choosing not to fill in my brows. I'm just going to brush them. And I'm going to take the MAC Gingerly Blush, and instead of contouring, I'm just going to apply my blush right in the apples of my cheeks because since this is a summer look, I don't want to put too much makeup on. Following that, I'm going to take my MAC Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, and I'm going to apply this right on the high bones of my cheek area. Now I'm going to take my NYX Pencil Jumbo in Milk, and I'm going to apply this on my eyelids. And what this is going to do, it's going to serve as an eyeshadow primer, but it's also going to help brighten the eyeshadow that I'm about to apply. Now I'm going to take my MAC blush in Blunt and I'm going to use a crease brush and I'm going to apply this in my crease area of my eye to help transition my natural smoky eye look. So I'm going to drag this underneath my eyebrows and on the inner portion of my eye by my nose to help define and contour my face in that area. Then next, I'm going to take this pink color in the Petal Pusher palette from Wet n Wild, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And I'm refraining from going all the way to my inner corner because I'm going to leave some of the white from the Jumbo NYX pencil visible to illuminate that area. This is a really beautiful glittery pink color without trying too hard. I really like this color for a natural smoke. So I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. And I'm also going to shape it on the corner outer edges of my eye and drag it a little bit towards my crease. Now I'm going to go back into the blush color gingerly and I'm going to use this as a transition color to help blend out the two colors that are on my eyes. Now I'm going to go into this darker color underneath the eyelid color and I'm going to apply this onto my lower lash line to help really define my eye and I'm also going to create an eyeliner look on top without being so harsh as to using a gel liner or a liquid liner which is definitely noticeable and in the summer you want it to look as natural as possible but you still want to have that deep intensity in your eye so I feel like drawing an eyeliner shape with a dark shadow really gives you that perfect look and I'm doing this with an angle brush. And a good tip is you can spray the angle brush with water to prevent fallout as you're doing this technique. Now 
Now I'm just going to clean that up with my fingers and just buff anything out that's noticeable. And I'm going to take this wet and wild color, it's a mauve color, and I'm going to apply this all over my lips using a lip brush. And this color just really brings out the eye look that you've applied on your eyes, which is this beautiful, natural, smoky plum bronze look. And you can use any plum or fuchsia lip color that you want, or you can use just a clear lip gloss, whatever it is that tickles your pink. This is what I like. And after you apply your lipstick, you just need to finish it off with your favorite mascara. You want to do your top and bottom lashes. And that's it. This is a perfect summertime look for a smoky eye where you're definitely wearing makeup, but it doesn't look like there's too much on. And that's it. I hope you like this look. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, like, email me. ChrisaJean.com. I hope you enjoyed this.